Obtaining a full G license in Ontario requires passing a. A knowledge test and two road tests. b. Only a knowledge test. c. A vision test and a parking test. d. A single comprehensive driving test. Answer a. The process involves a knowledge test, G1, a basic road test, G2, and a more advanced road test, G. A driver with a G1 license must a. Be accompanied by a fully licensed driver. b. Drive only during daylight hours. c. Avoid highways at all times. d. Use a manual transmission vehicle. Answer a. G1 drivers must be accompanied by a fully licensed driver with at least four years of driving experience. Driving under the influence of alcohol can result in a. License suspension. b. Vehicle impoundment. c. Criminal charges. d. All of the above. Answer d. DUI offenses carry severe penalties, including license suspension, vehicle impoundment, and criminal charges. Accumulating too many demerit points can lead to a. Mandatory driving lessons. b. License suspension. c. A warning letter from the Ministry of Transportation. d. Increased insurance premiums only. Answer b. Accumulating demerit points can result in license suspension, depending on the severity and frequency of offenses. Proper following distance under normal conditions is a. 2 seconds behind the vehicle ahead. b. 1 second behind the vehicle ahead. c. 3 seconds behind the vehicle ahead. d. As close as possible to prevent cutting in. Answer, a. A 2 second following distance helps maintain a safe buffer between vehicles. Drivers should check blind spots by a. Using side mirrors only. b. Turning their head to look over their shoulder. C. Relying on rearview mirrors. D. Checking the dashboard display. Answer B. Turning your head to check blind spots ensures there are no vehicles or obstacles in those areas. Night driving requires the use of A. Low beam headlights for better visibility. B. High beam headlights in well lit areas. C. Parking lights only. D. Hazard lights at all times. Answer, A. Low beam headlights provide adequate visibility without blinding other drivers. When a vehicle starts to skid, the driver should A. Turn the wheel sharply in the opposite direction. B. Apply the brakes hard immediately. C. Steer in the direction they want to go. D. Accelerate to regain control. Answer, C. Steering in the desired direction helps regain control of the vehicle. The primary cause of rear-end collisions is a. Following too closely b. Excessive speeding c. Sudden stops d. Poor weather conditions Answer, a. Maintaining a safe following distance prevents rear-end collisions by allowing enough reaction time. During a long trip, drivers should take breaks a. Every 2 hours or every 150 kilometers b. Only when feeling fatigued. c. Once they reach their destination. d. Every hour or every 100 kilometers. Answer, a. Regular brakes prevent fatigue and help maintain alertness. When encountering a flashing red traffic light, drivers should a. Stop and proceed when safe. b. Yield and continue without stopping. c. Speed through the intersection. D. Turn on their hazard lights. Answer, A. A flashing red light functions as a stop sign, requiring drivers to stop completely and proceed when safe. If the brakes fail while driving, the first action should be to A. Shift to a lower gear. B. Pump the brakes to build up pressure. C. Use the parking brake to stop. D. Turn off the engine immediately. Answer, B. Pumping the brakes may help build up enough pressure to stop the vehicle. Hydroplaning occurs when A. A vehicle's tires lose contact with the road due to water. 
b. A car is driving on a dry, hot surface. c. Snow accumulates under the tires. d. The vehicle's tires are overinflated. Answer, a. Hydroplaning happens when a layer of water causes the tires to lose contact with the road, leading to a loss of control. In a tire blowout, the driver should a. Hold the steering wheel firmly and gradually slow down. b. Immediately brake hard. c. Swerve to the shoulder. d. Accelerate to regain control. Answer, a. Maintaining control and gradually slowing down helps safely manage a tire blowout. A yellow flashing light at an intersection means a. Turn only if no vehicles are approaching. b. Stop immediately. c. Yield to oncoming traffic. d. Proceed with caution. Answer, d. A flashing yellow light signals drivers to proceed with caution, aware of their surroundings. The use of seat belts is required. a. For all passengers and drivers at all times. B. Only for the driver. C. Only in the front seats. D. Only in urban areas. Answer, A. Seat belts are mandatory for all occupants to enhance safety in the event of a collision. In case of engine overheating, drivers should A. Stop the vehicle and turn off the engine. B. Increase speed to cool the engine faster. C. Continue driving to reach a mechanic quickly. D. Open the radiator cap to relieve pressure. Answer, A. Stopping and turning off the engine prevents further damage from overheating. The main purpose of anti-lock braking systems, ABS, is to A. Increase fuel efficiency. B. Prevent wheel lockup during hard braking. C. Improve vehicle acceleration. D. Reduce tire wear. Answer, B. ABS helps maintain steering control during hard braking by preventing wheel lockup. A driver approaching a stopped school bus with flashing red lights must A. Stop regardless of the direction of approach. B. Slow down and proceed with caution. C. Pass only if in a hurry. D. Ignore the bus if in a hurry. Answer, A. Vehicles must stop when approaching a stop school bus with flashing red lights to ensure the safety of children boarding or alighting. When entering a highway from an on-ramp, the driver should a. Match the speed of the traffic on the highway. b. Stop at the end of the on-ramp. c. Enter the highway as quickly as possible. d. Yield to vehicles on the highway and merge safely. Answer, d. Yielding to highway traffic and merging at a safe speed ensures a smooth entry onto the highway. The most effective way to deal with aggressive drivers is to a. Stay calm and avoid confrontation. b. Speed up to get away from them. c. Engage in a verbal exchange. d. Block them from passing. Answer, a. Staying calm and not engaging with aggressive drivers helps prevent potential road rage incidents. A steady green light means a. Proceed through the intersection if the way is clear. b. Stop if vehicles are present. c. Yield to all oncoming traffic. d. Speed up to avoid traffic. Answer, a. A steady green light allows drivers to proceed if the intersection is clear, ensuring traffic flows smoothly. Drivers should dim their high beams when a. Driving in fog b. Driving on a well-lit street c. Approaching another vehicle or following one d. Entering a tunnel Answer, c. Dimming high beams prevents blinding other drivers, enhancing safety for all road users. In icy conditions, a vehicle's stopping distance can be a. Much longer than usual b. Shorter than usual c. The same as in dry conditions D. Unaffected. Answer, A. Ice significantly reduces tire traction, increasing the stopping distance required to safely stop the vehicle. The use of hands-free devices while driving. A. Reduces but does not eliminate distraction. B. Completely eliminates distraction. 
C is recommended only in emergency situations. D should be avoided at all times. Answer A. Hands-free devices minimize physical distraction but do not eliminate cognitive distraction, requiring drivers to stay focused. The correct action when approaching a railroad crossing with a lowered gate is A. Sound the horn and proceed with caution. B. Drive around the gate if no train is visible. C. Speed up to beat the gate. D. Stop and wait for the gate to rise. Answer, D. Lowered gates at railroad crossings indicate an approaching train, requiring vehicles to stop and wait for it to pass. At a four-way stop, if two vehicles arrive simultaneously, the right-of-way is given to A. The vehicle on the right B. The larger vehicle C. The vehicle that arrives first D. The faster vehicle Answer, A. The vehicle on the right has the right-of-way at a four-way stop when vehicles arrive simultaneously, promoting orderly traffic flow. To avoid fatigue on long trips, drivers should a. Take regular breaks every two hours or 150 kilometers. B. Drive non-stop to reach the destination faster. C. Rely on caffeinated drinks. D. Increase the volume of the radio. Answer, A. Regular breaks help prevent fatigue, keeping drivers alert and reducing the risk of accidents. When making a right turn at a red light, drivers must a. Ignore pedestrians and proceed cautiously. B. Speed through the turn if the way is clear. C. Come to a complete stop and yield to all traffic and pedestrians. D. Turn without stopping if there is no visible traffic. Answer, C. Coming to a complete stop and yielding ensures safety for all road users before making a right turn at a red light. A driver's reaction time can be affected by a. Fatigue, alcohol, and distractions. B. Vehicle speed and weather conditions. C. Road surface and tire condition. D. All of the above. Answer, A. Reaction time is influenced by factors such as fatigue, alcohol, and distractions, which can impair a driver's ability to respond to road situations.